Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to use and set up the frequency scanner plugin for SDR Sharp. I'll assume you already have SDR Sharp installed and a device to use it with. So, first you need to go to this link here, which I put in the description. Um, it is in Russian, but don't worry, you can use the bar up here to translate it. Just click translate and it will come up with the translation. Scroll down here and click download and download and you can open that and you need to extract it. Right, I've already done it so it won't show this for you but there we are and then go into this folder. Okay so now you need to copy this file and go and open up your SDR Sharp installation folder just paste it in here and then go back to the other one open up the readme and take this bit here copy it you can close that go to here the SDR Sharp folder open sdrsharp.exe.config I'm going to edit it with Notepad++, but if you don't have that program, you can use Notepad. And in the SDR, oh sorry, the Sharp Plugins section, which is this bit, you just go to here, hit Enter to make a new line, and Control V to paste that line in there, and then Control S to save it, and then you can close it, and then you're ready to open up. SDR Sharp. Here we are. Frequency scanner plugin. And you can set it to manual. And what manual does is it lets you set a range. So you can set it from, let's say, 440 to 460 megahertz. And it will scan between those two frequencies. So if I start this. and tell it to do 440 to 460 and it's all those zeros because it does it in hertz and then you hit scan and it goes through each band like this and it stops on signals now there will probably be some you'll need to lock out by hitting lock over here um, they'll, they'll just be unwanted signals and interference and stuff but once you've locked them all out it should work nicely now if I put the antenna on here it should start getting some signals let's see what it finds oh, hold on a second I need to put the level up a bit because it's stopping on everything otherwise and the level basically is this line here and it stops for any signal that's above the line so this this is just the graph that shows signal strength up this axis and along here it shows frequency and next over here uh, it tells it how long to wait before going on to the next transmission after the squelch closes detect in milliseconds is how long the signal has to go for before it stops on it so it, for me I've got it set to 500 milliseconds if the signal only lasts for 400 milliseconds then it won't stop on it that's what the idea of that is you can pause it and it'll stop on whatever frequency it's on and you can then continue it again you can skip, which will skip whatever channel you're on, and it will just continue scanning without locking it, without locking out the frequency. Lock, I've explained that sort of already, it just locks out the frequency so that it doesn't scan that again. And unlock, um, if you go on to a locked frequency, you can unlock it again, which will allow it to be scanned as normal. And you can see that it does have these kind of shapes here. And that's because 
it scans each bit separately so it tunes to here and scans there and then it tunes to here in the middle and then scans all that range and then it tunes to the middle of here and scans that range in quick su succession you, you will see it doing it you can see this um, yellow line bit moving if I skip what it's on um, and you can get rid of these kind of dips where it doesn't really detect things properly uh, by setting the sample rate to a lower value so if I stop this I'll just show you quickly you can set it to let's say 2.4 and if I start this again and scan again see it scans with a bit of a well a bit of a less noticeable gap there but it also means you have to move the level down a bit because the signals aren't go, don't go so high up on here and I don't think the signal strength is as good when you use a different lower sample rate so I usually leave it on 3.2 3.2 mega samples per second and I just scan it like that and see I have to move the level back up again otherwise it messes up and freezes so there we go and it just continues scanning everything okay that should complete this tutorial thank you for watching